<laughs> Can't beat the weather, no. On a picture perfect March day, the South Platte River Trail was full of people working up a sweat. Oh boy. Jesse Swain yeah. was sweating too. A lot of this little came off these big ones. Emptying his truck full of limbs and branches. An unexpected workout after a big spring storm. Way to get your exercise for an old guy. Within hours of the city of Denver opening this drop off site on West Bayod, the dumpsters were overflowing as people came from nearby cities looking for a place to unload. Yeah, because of the storm, there's a lot of people that are just biting, chomping at the bit to come and find a place to drop off. Robert Garcia came from Lakewood, where he says he's been unable to find a place to dump his branches. I tried calling Lakewood. I know Jefferson County has them, but not until later in the year. They should have a lot of these places running right now. Jesse Swain also came from Jefferson County. Yeah, I got lucky on that one. Where he says he was surprised to see no drop off option after such a big storm. It is a problem because we're not the only ones that got hit. I thought I got to get the, get my branches out here and get it done with. Otherwise, I'm stuck with them for another few months. This site will be here for the next two weeks. And if today's turnout is any indication, the city may need to empty these dumpsters a few more times. Try and be nice and get most of it in it. But if they don't get some more out here, people are going to do what I was thinking about doing because there isn't going to be any uh, place to put it. Evan Krugel, 9 News. Now that Denver drop off site is at 1271 West Bayod Avenue. It's open Monday through Saturday from 9 until 5 all the way through Saturday, April 6th.